Hello everyone. As an internet fanatic, I spend most of my time browsing and searching through the internet. With over one billion websites, there's something for everyone to enjoy. But sometimes, one billion websites may not be the safest to visit. Scams, odd forums, satanic rituals, and even cannibal cafes lie on one place of the web that can't be accessed. The deep web. The deep web is a part of the web known for its bizarreness and scare factor. And today, we should have a discussion. Welcome to Internet Creeps. A website name couldn't be more innocent. Silk Road is an anonymous website that sells illegal drugs. In order for people to do this, they have to create an account with a fixed fee. Also, the website is Tor protected, meaning they can browse the website and no one can stop them. In 2013, the FBI discovered and shut down the website. As well, they determined the creator, Ross William Albright. They arrested him for a life sentence. To this day, we still don't know who actually purchased drugs from the website. People believe that the Silk Road Marketplace has been recreated and is now being run by someone else. This one isn't so cruel, but rather very mysterious. It's free to visit right now and doesn't have any viruses on it. The website is filled with colorful purple, yellow, and red lettering on a black background. It's mostly information about the devil's Satan, but it's all good stuff, as if the creators actually worship the devil. In fact, the creators are part of a cult that believes in Satanism. There's even a link on the website that lets you join. The website even lists rules about Satanism and encourages people to donate to the religion. The site states that joining at 13 or 19 results in very unfriendly environment. And be careful of the 25 links on the site, which contain numerous rituals, videos, and more information about the devil. Hire a Hitman is one of the many websites on the deep web that actually lets you hire a hitman. In other words, you can anonymously hire someone to kill someone else. Most of the websites contain prices and people that they will kill. There's even one website devoted to killing famous politicians at the time. Most of these websites are shut down, but some are still up. Which means you can still get someone to murder someone else. Once again, the Tor network blocks the user from being caught by the police. This one is still very accessible. A black background with blue fonts makes the website chilling to view through. It's a collection of last words of people who suffered in a plane crash, and pretty much all of them are chilling. The website even lists the name, date, and flight number of the crashes. To know that there's someone out there collecting these is shocking. Some of the examples are, Mom, I love you, and that's it dead. It's very hard to talk about this one. The Cannibal Cafe is a dating service, but unlike most dating services, once you meet the person, you die. If you don't know, cannibals are people who eat other people for food. The website is still up, but can only be visited through a special program. It greets you with a warning covered in blood. You can scroll through the many cannibals waiting to meet someone. It even lists their address and the date that they plan to meet. The people who roam the site were never discovered.
Websites can make you rich, but not like this one, because this website sells you stolen credit cards for cheap. Websites like Amazon have suffered a loss of $32 billion due to these websites for the fact that they sell credit cards they've stolen off of someone else. You can scroll through all the different credit cards and different values, but you can also buy a few of them for cheap. Pretty much saying you're paying less money to get more money. Most of the websites were shut down, but one called Simply Cards still remains. So have fun and enjoy paying the thief. This website was never recommended for anyone to visit and has already been shut down. The owner of the website captured seven ISIS terrorists and will do anything to torture them on camera. You have to pay them to get in and in return you get live streams of all these terrorists being tortured in brutal ways. The thing is, is that you get to choose how. The user speaks with the torturer through a live chat and tells him which weapons to use and how. To be fair, it's pretty much YouTube for morbid people. Most of these websites were shut down, but some have been recreated, and I advise you not to visit any of them. So, thanks for watching, and remember to have nightmarish dreams tonight.